Ramble. This podcast is brought to you by Shopify and Bubba Rose and Potluck and Poppet Pal and a million other businesses. Why so many? Because we are sponsored by Shopify and they do everything they can to support the independent businesses on their platform. So they're including other businesses in their ad. Wow, Shopify. I can do all the things a business owner needs to do to see how his stuff is is being shopped. If you are a business of any size, big or small, you can use Shopify to grow your business. See all the ways that Shopify is supporting independence at shopify.com slash independence. Shopify. Supporting independence. On with the show! Thank you to Shopify, Best Fiends, and Honey for sponsoring today's podcast. What are you looking at? You looking at my mug? <clears throat> I was actually looking at your shirt, and oh. I thought I was wondering if that's a picture of you on your shirt. It's, <laughs> it's Elton John. <laughs> I went. I mean, you know, not super far off. My vibe's somewhere between Elton and Larry David and yeah. Rick Moranis, you th- and maybe a little, a little maybe sp- future really President Sanders on and what maybe little Sanders you choose to yeah. wear. Yeah, and then that's a little true. little vocal sprinkling of Aziz Ansari. You mix those all together, you get me. How tall is Bernie Sanders? How tall are you, are you seeing? If you're I, gonna vote based on height? No, I mean, I, I was just like kind of delighted by the idea of uh, of going against the typical. I'm gonna vote for someone over six foot one for president. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, hold on, Miles. We need to figure I this just out. Need to find how, out old, how, tall, how tall is? It'll Bernie delight Sanders? me if he's. How tall do you think Bernie Sanders is? Well, um, but four are, foot seven. Are you talking standing up straight? Because that man has a constant hunch. Doesn't matter. Just how, what's what's Five, his height? Ten. I think I see eye to eye with him on a great many things, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. including literal. How tall do you think he is? I, Just said five ten. I'm I'm in Ned's camp, like five eleven. I think short five five. Bernie Sanders is six feet tall. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Well, we what are you talking? I mean, we were an inch. So off. when he comes <laughs> yeah. into so when he comes into this room, he's. Six feet tall. Okay, but he's six feet tall if he, he had proper posture, right. which means he's actually 5'10", 5'11". It's all about the posture. But that means, you know, you typically see, um, it's like basketball players. You see presidential candidates on a debate stage together. <laughs> and most of the men are six feet and up. Yeah. So you think like Pete Buttigieg is tiny, but he might be like 5'10". We don't know. This is a classic Try Guy situation. Everyone's <laughs> like, Bloomberg, what a tiny little man. No, he's a normal size. Y'all the freaks. <laughs> The other presidential candidates are freaks. They're tall, giant monster men, and we need a normal-sized human. I'm not talking about Bloomberg. Fuck no. that guy. Yeah. I'm talking about Zachary Cornfeld. How tall are you on the record? Me. Yeah. By, the, on the record. Unfiltered. On the record, <laughs> officially. Yeah, barefoot. Uh, Five seven and three quarters. In three quarters. <laughs> okay, so you we, get some cushy shoes. That was a clean five eight. Yeah. I, r- I round up to five eight, but I feel a little disingenuous sometimes. I feel like okay, well let's let's be real. I'm I'm breaking five eight with the wisps wisps of my hair. Right. So which um, look Bo- good by the way. Thank you, man. Thank Buttigieg, you. Buttigieg is five nine. What a tiny little fuck. <laughs> because Whoa. listen to this. Whoa. Sanders is six foot. Biden is six foot. <laughs> Booker six two, Beto Rourke six four. Oh, he's he's lanky. Elizabeth Warren five eight. Good for her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the shortest was uh, Kamala, who was five two. Do we think? What? It- yeah. Wow. Kamala is five two. Yeah, you wouldn't t- think that with her like All just those presence. Sh- yeah. Shots are yeah. framed. AOC is also small. I would I would swear that Kamala is bigger than me. It's I guess politicians <laughs> did- are like basketball players. We'll have to have her on the podcast. Yeah, they scale up. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Welcome to Tripod. We are the Try Guys. It's we're recording this on Super <laughs> Tuesday. You're listening to it on a Super Thursday. Uh yeah, we're we're thinking about politics because it's it's all that's consuming our mind right now. But by the time you're listening to this, shit's already gone down. Yeah. What's up, fellas? I don't know. I was just excited that Bernie's in my head I thought he was like five nine, five ten, but he's, I'm a, so he's a six footer. Curious that you're focused on height. <laughs> rather and than and and also also the del- issues. <laughs> also no, the I'm, I'm, in- I'm focused on the issues, obviously, but I was like delighted by the idea yeah. of, a, of a shorter president. But mm. like two to three inches, not that big of a deal, except yeah. for in the bedroom. How yeah, tall yeah. do you guys think Angela Merkel is? Oh, An- she's An- like Angela. She's small, she's right? Shorter. She's shorter. She has to she be She seems short. in photos I think- on the shorter <laughs> end of the political leader's height <laughs> spectrum. What this a fascinating thing. thing. I bet. Do it's you, do tall you think privilege, for sure. Taller people get elected to 
world offices more often. Oh, yes. hell I bet yes. that is definitely true. Yeah. Absolutely. But now I'm wondering, is this an American phenomenon mm. or is this worldwide? Is this Pitbull? The queen is, is small. Worldwide? Yeah. Uh, five, 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 Pitbull, the, uh, five, five. Taller than you th- expect. No kidding. Uh huh. How yeah, tall is Pitbull? I think he's like five ten. <gasps> wow. Pretty I would have thought Pitbull's like four seven. Uh, how how tall is Angela? Five five. Yeah. Angela Merkel. See, that's, five. that's taller than you'd expect. Ned, wait, wait. On, on the record, how tall are you? Oh me? I'm five ten. If you're comfortable, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> five ten. You're five ten. That's pretty good. I feel like I'm not that far off from you. Well, you're two not. Inches? You're two yeah. inches. That's okay, so then I must be five eight. Eugene. That's what you said. I'm rounding up. I'm six foot. You're six foot flat. Yeah, six but, foot flat. But with the hair. But with the hair bump. With the hair, I look like I'm six two if my hair spiked. Also, Whoa. with the posture, also. You and s- I have very tall. long torso and very uh, good posture. Yeah. So Keith's not torso here today. Check. Also, by the way, Pitbull was five seven. Wow. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I I could stare know. Pitbull in the eyes. Yeah. What a great beginning of a podcast. I love talking about people's heights. Uh, Keith, Keith my heights. our tallest member, is not here today. Mm-hmm. But a weird thing about Eugene and Keith is that Eugene, while a little bit shorter, not much, has a longer and taller torso and better posture. Yes. So when you guys sit next to each other, you look taller than Keith. Sometimes, yeah. I have weird. what's called a swimmer's body. <laughs> so mm. like uh, the torso is long, the, the, the arms are long, the mm. legs are shorter and powerful, like a little, like a little rudder. I would think swimmers yeah. would have long legs. No, because the kicking, you want it to be like more uh, precise and quick. Oh. But you want the strokes of the upper body to be really long. Oh. Yeah. So it's all about wingspan. Like wingspan and a fin. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it's it fun. You have a swimmer's body. I've been told I have a TV dinner body. Um, <laughs> what's, very good. What's the joke? I was, try, I was trying to find a better one, and that's the best that I came up with in the 20 seconds you were talking. Uh, you know how they say you were hot a, in the 50s. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. They say you have a voice for radio. I do think I have a body for radio. Yeah. I mean, do you consider yourself a short king? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> a short king. <laughs> short king. Good internet lingo there, Miles. Thanks. I also learned what I learned what cake was yesterday. <laughs> Please do share. Cake? Do you guys know about cake? You mean like, like ass? Like, yeah. like my butt? Yeah. Like she's, she's got cake, yeah. and it means you have an, a big ass. Did yeah, you know about Miles. this, Ned? Yeah, yes. I did. How the fuck did I, was I the last one to know about cake? <gasps> That's, why do you think we have you do the advice section? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't know as much as us. That's true. Wait a second. We used to say, that within the try guys ned was the slowest to pick up on the hip internet but maybe yeah. maybe miles is supplanting you maybe you're hey. the hipper one now wow mm. yeah i am the reigning champion at tiktok <laughs> that's that true Z- zach you you claim to be the most in the know give them a uh, current internet slang to see who knows it oh yeah uh, what are the kiddos saying these days well i know you all know this because of a video we've got oh that's like tisking yeah. You what does it mean? The sk- 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 Oh, yeah. I don't know what you it means. Seen, you know it. You were in a yeah. video about it. Yeah, but that, you don't think I remember everything. You know how many <laughs> videos we make, Zach Hornfeld? <laughs> I do not remember every moment of every video. There are things that I watch on the internet that I am in that surprise me. <laughs> I'm like, I said that? Yeah. You, you, you gotta be you gotta be open you gotta be fluid you gotta be you know popping off the top of your head mm. Th- this is a wonderful uh privilege that we have where sometimes i'm like do i like that food let me go back and watch this taste test that three million people have watched oh and that's yeah. i'll know my opinion about this thing so i just had to look up one more thing about uh world leader sites and i'm done with it right. <laughs> just who, who in more. history is the uh most famous world leader known for being short napoleon napoleon, napoleon. how tall do you think napoleon oh was? actually i know napoleon's taller than you think Right? Five two, five seven. Whoa. Whoa! And people made fun of him for me. He's like Zach's height, dude. I okay. All right. <laughs> you know what? Can we so start we've been really. Him? Maybe ingraining. that's why he's had the Napoleon complex, not because he was so short and trying to make up for it, because he was like, guys, I'm not that short. This is crazy. I'm <laughs> that's normal. Napoleon. You're the free. I, do I? I yeah. Have Napoleon a- complex isn't for guys wow. like five three and under. It's for guys who are like five six to five eight. Oh, going, like, guys, guys. I don't think I'm that this short. Is not that weird. <laughs> I'm fine. I was in a room of short people, I'd be tall. <laughs> You're being insulting to actual short people. Do you know how weird I feel when I meet people that are, you know, tinier than mm-hmm. me and they go, oh, I, oh, you're actually normal you're 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 taller than i thought and then i'm like am i misrepresenting myself am mm. i am i a false short king am i am i a tiny god that is that is an, an imposter 
I'm just stuck in the middle. I think it's also because you're always next to us mm -hmm. and you also have smaller like bone structure. Oh, certainly. Yeah. I, I'm tiny in every place that counts. Mm -hmm. Call yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, except for the one place. A slender king. So there you slender, go. slender king. <laughs> slender man. Slender Wait, king must so slay the what, slender man. What's the average height? In, the the in America, say. Oh, I actually know this fact. I believe the average male height is 5'7 worldwide. <gasps> above average! So Zach Whoa. is above average worldwide. And for women, <laughs> I think it's 5'4 or 5'3 or something like that. Wow. I'm going to double That's, check, but I believe they, they hover around well there. above average. Yeah. I also love um, the identity of girls who are like, Five, six, five, seven. They're like, oh, I'm so tall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just so tall. And I'm like, yeah. you're, you're, you're fine. You're, you're, you're a normal size to you. It's like, oh, I'm so tall. I'm five, five. I'm so tall. <laughs> you ever see a really, really tall guy when you know, he'll be walking hand in hand with a very short girl yeah mm -hmm. those are my favorite couples Hello, are amazing like, I love but it. i'm talking like the extremes yeah but they find each other i've seen that a couple times like yeah. on my college campus we'd see all the time it, it, it's, i saw there's definitely a couple in college that they didn't get together until senior year but then when they did it was the <laughs> biggest guy and the smallest girl like in college fascinating it was a shot putter who was like Probably like seriously six eight <laughs> three hundred pounds. Jeez. I mean, this Whoa. guy was big. <gasps> yeah, and not like offensive lineman big. He was like he was like <laughs> stacked. He was jacked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like he was he was fit. Rather yeah, than yeah, yeah. Fit and large. How yeah. does he would look? Huh? How were the glutes? You know, uh, they were good. They're good. <laughs> they were they were firm. You could probably bounce a quarter off of them. Wow. What kind of deltoids was he rocking? Yeah. I. Do not know which muscle that is. Please enlighten me. Somewhere over here. It's the one that I injured. Well, I know it's somewhere oh, yeah. in your shoulder, but is it the front of your shoulder or the back of your shoulder? I think it's the side. The side? Right. Deltoid? We, Comment below. None We're going to have to know. issue another your correction. Your traps are yeah. in the back. I know that. No, I think your Jeez. deltoid's like the front one, right? Anyways, delts were great. Delts were <laughs> great. Obviously, as a shot putter, his delts were top notch. Yeah. But she was four... 11 yeah it's interesting i do what do you think that is do you think it's just like oh i want to feel like a tiny little princess and he's like i want to feel like a strong big man that's like a i'm, I'm sure I, they're I not i think that might have been an element but they also probably got like each other right like, of personality course wise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, of course. <laughs> Obviously. so a correction mm. there's you can't really quantify the worldwide height because it ranges quite differently on average by by race <laughs> but in america the average height for a man is uh between five nine five ten. Oh, Fuck. Whoa, yeah. Zach. And for women, it's five four. Okay, I'm back. Tiny kings unite. Short <laughs> you kings got it. Unite. Short hey, king. that other white guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm average. The average, the white average guy. height. Yeah. Every now and then, I do get someone who meets me. Most people say, "Oh, wow, you're taller than I thought you were." Uh, uh, every now and then, I go, "I thought you'd be sh shorter," and I'm like, "Well, then how?" I've also one person once told me that I looked. Um, fatter on camera oh my god that is so <laughs> mean. So i was like okay thanks <laughs> or maybe it was the opposite maybe she told me i was chubbier in person either way that would like have been that, mean. uh that's usually nicer if someone says you look fatter on camera yeah we did a reading me <laughs> yes. and thirsty tweets video and mm -hmm. one of them was a sweet comment that was actually the meanest <laughs> one to me that. what was it it was like i really hope ned gets more sleep because he always has these big dark circles <laughs> under his eyes and i'm like excuse you <laughs> My son is almost two years old. I am getting eight hours a night just fine, thank you. <laughs> Anything about my face is now just my face. So please put your kindness yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. It that was, was a fun video. That was, was fun. Because I think in the comments, there's like tons of people calling out people that have wronged them. Yeah. Keith, Keith asked them to, to call out those who have... Who have made them upset or, mm. or cheated on them? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I think I also saw some people leaving meaner comments because Zach had complained in the video that those comments were not oh, mean. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. I, sh oh. I should go back and let's check pain. some out. Yeah, let's check I some love out. mean comments, especially within a controlled parameter. You know, I like. So we're I like gonna a go good... uncontrolled and just read it. Yeah, like, this is dangerous. All natural <laughs> right now. I love a good roasting. I don't know. There's something about you know what it is. I don't like unprompted mean comments. But what I really delight in, especially in videos, is when I can set someone up to spike me down. Like if I can lob that ball in the air and just have someone just pelt me with an insult, because I'm now part of it. It's we've built a joke together. Right. One time I got Lance Bass to insult me. 
in a wow. video. <gasps> wow. A true, a true highlight of my life and my career. Uh, you guys all looking to see if I'm looking at things about me? Yeah, I'm looking for these comments. I mean, here's one that's uh, it's pretty cutting and mean. Uh, Miles is so underrated. He's so funny. <laughs> 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 that's kind of a mean comment, which is like wow, burn, a huge Sick. burn on me. Actually, this top comment is like the sweetest thing. It's like a paragraphs about how great we all are. Yeah. Um, you already know this podcast is brought to you by Shopify and Bubba Rose and Potluck and Poppet Pal and a million other businesses, including. The Try Guys. Us. That's well, right. Because Shopify does everything they can to support the independent businesses on their platform, including including them in their advertisement. Yes, it's an all-in-one commerce solution designed to start, grow, and scale your business on your terms. Did you know that Shopify can help you start smell? <laughs> smell? <laughs> smell, Zach. I'm sorry, there's no smell. I, I can't <laughs> smell anything right now. Can I get Shopify to help me with that? <laughs> they can help you sell, market, and manage your business. I think Shopify proves that it's not the size of the business. It's, it's how you use the it. The way you shop it. Yeah. And you Shopify it. No, in all seriousness, <laughs> Shopify is essential for us managing our business. They help us do our best work. And it's just it's just seamless. It just works. If you are a business of any size, you should look into the ways that Shopify can help you grow. See all the ways that Shopify is supporting independence at shopify.com slash independence. That's Shopify supporting independence. Not as in Independence Day, but independence like T-S. Zach, I think that the reason people think you're shorter and, uh, uh, you know, they're going to be shorter is because you've got BDE. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I can describe you, please, I would say BDE. Um, just so if you're listening at home right now, I just want to paint a picture. We're in the studio and every single Try Guy is on their phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for mean comments. Every single Try Guy. This happened last week when Zach was the only person in the studio and he was also on his phone. Miles, well, I was going to contribute to the conversation, but you're talking about my, my yeah, energy, energy. And so I don't want to interrupt you. Yeah, absolutely. I think that like the Miles way you... Miles is so underrated. He's so funny. First of all, so is in all caps, and this has 630 likes, Miles. <gasps> yeah, baby. That's very sweet. I'm kind. I appreciate it, everybody. Thanks for being a part of the nation and the army. Um, okay, here's a mean comment. Speaking of Zach's hair, his hair looks <laughs> great in this video. <laughs> Not that it doesn't look good every video. Yeah. Uh, Eugene, uh, so I've actually been wanting to ask you, um, uh, I've, <laughs> I've been, I was going to get a haircut. Oh, yes, go on. And I was wondering if you had any hair advice for my new haircut. That'll go for That'll go for Miles <laughs> the Louis Yang. Um what what have you what do you typically do? I'm at the point where I've had the same haircut for like a number of years. And I'm wondering if maybe I need to change what I'm telling the barber so what, I can What do be you hotter. ask the barber when you go in? I say I wear it like this and then I usually push my hair up and to the left mm -hmm. and then I say I like it a little bit longer in the in the front, mm -hmm. shorter on the sides. Do you tell them I want to look like I used to listen to my chemical romance, yes. but now I'm ready to integrate <laughs> back into society? <laughs> yeah, I say I want the emo boy swoop but then not so exaggerated. I'm a sad boy but not too sad and not too boy. Right, exactly. <laughs> Still employable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm employable, but emo. I, finance well, comments. I like how much length you get, and yeah. I think you should run with the length. Run with the I, length. I think you it's like good the length? to keep the. I do like his length. Thank no, you. I mean miles. Do you like oh, length? I find that like I like it when it's long in the front. I don't like it when it's long on the sides because then it starts to look like a shaggy dog mm -hmm. boy. But so I you don't do, like the mullet. No, because I, I, for my face, I feel like I've got, with the beard, I want it to be like straight lines on the sides, so my face is like a little Sim character. Have Dear Barber, I want you to make me look like <laughs> I know that Pinkerton is the greatest album ever produced. Yeah. Dear Barber, I want you to make me look like Kevin Smith is my favorite director, <laughs> <laughs> and Mallrats is the greatest contribution to cinema. Do exactly. You, how short do you go on the sides and back? I usually, I don't even know. Do they use clippers or do they use scissors? They use scissors. They don't use mm, clippers. Interesting. The, I mean, I think if you actually wanted to push it, you would go really short on the sides and back. See, that feels like then I'm going for like a Macklemore type look and I don't want to necessarily do that. No, because his hair was never long on top. Grow it out. Oh, grow it out full? Grow it out, Miles. <laughs> 
I want you remember what Brad Pitt looked like when he won the Oscar for Twelve Years a Slave? Yeah, that long like Jesus Savior look. I have thought about it. Yeah, yeah, you could go for the Jesus and just pull it up into a top knot. Have you read a top knot? Top knot. Now my <gasps> hairline Miles is with a top knot. <laughs> my hairline's going, so I don't know if a top knot would no work. No kidding, Zach. Yeah. My hairline's going. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> what <Yeah>. a loser. <laughs> Zach's got some recommendations for I know. Me. It's kind of going a little bit. Uh, but I, that's surprising to me. You've got so much bangs. I've got a lot of bangs. Well, it's to cover the hairline going. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's right. A little, a little see, tip. Do you mind giving yeah, a little let's, let me reveal the so hairline. Oh, my God. <laughs> is, wow. Whoa. Never before have I sweat so much on the podcast. Yeah, uh, yeah it's kind of going. It's in the corners it goes. Oh, I see. You've still got the no. middle. The middle's fine. Yeah, I think that's you're doing okay. Okay. It's the sides are going. My dad is like, my dad has very long hair in the back, but he's got <laughs> but nowhere else. Very little hair in the front. So Eugene, what's your vision? What's your what's your like describe Miles's perfect hairstyle? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you can't grow it out, then I think that yeah. you should at least try. I mean, I just th like that you keep the length on top. Okay. Most guys don't grow mm -hmm. as long as you do. Yeah. So I think you should maybe play with how short you take the sides and the back end. Wait, but so why can't he do a top knot? Because, because I, he doesn't want to expose the. I feel the like hairline. it reveals the hairline, and people are no, like, "No, no, no, no! Mm, you keep the, the uh, you do a back knot. You just you just bunch up the back of the hair. You keep oh, the front. I do like a samurai. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Isn't that front, what the top knot is? Front little bangs on the sides like that, and then that's like in every video the game character girl. creation. I'm picturing someone in Cruel Intentions, and yeah. I love it. I yeah. want that. I, I mean, what that. if you had a, as much product in your hair as Eugene, and you kind of had this like you know, soundscape on your head. I don't do a lot of product, but I was inspired. I did shoot the, I remember we shot the hair video and I was inspired to put product in my hair and then I never did. Um, you weren't so I wasn't that inspired, I guess. <laughs> but I feel like I am interested in that, making myself look sexier and hotter. I don't know. Maybe 2020 is a year of fashion, fashion uh, fears. Like well, you also did. got, you guys, you also get a full beard. So you also have hair yeah. working with the front. That's the true. Face, so it's yeah. also shaping part of it. So if you went shorter on the sides and back with the full beard, that mm. would look pretty hot. That'd okay. Cool. That's good to hear. That's good to know. I'll give you some visual references. I would like you that. You can take it to the, to the barber. Okay, cool. And then, uh, I mean, it's a pretty typical style for a lot of straight dudes these days, but you'll yeah. look, you'll look pretty, pretty intense i think that's good i want to look yeah. in severe yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. the three of us get our hair cut by the same guy our friend david yeah uh shout out david and <laughs> every time like the last couple times he's given me new hairstyles to try out and he like get, he'll give me tutorials on how he's styling my hair the second i get home i forget and i do this i revert to doing the <laughs> same exact <laughs> thing i don't like it's hard to know how to do things and then to have the patience in the morning to style it like most guys, I assume most people, you get your style and you just fucking go for it. I used yeah. to do this YouTube show that was uh, called Trust Me, where people in a relationship would give instructions for the, each other's haircut. Oh, yeah. Uh, without any, like, any knowledge of what was happening on themselves. Mm. There's like a curtain between them. Pretty, pretty dynamic <laughs> results. Yeah. If you're just getting a haircut blind, <laughs> no yeah. idea how it's going to turn out. That is very fun. Uh, I mean, hair can transform your your face, your presence, your being, mm -hmm. but then continuing that style the day after, that's yeah. that's the trick. Right, yeah, that's I mean, the trouble. I think Ariel did it with me, and like, not only did we go way shorter, but uh, she was also like, yeah, like dyed a little like more like brown. Oh, she really like, trusted you. Oh, yeah. whoa. Well, I trusted her. Yeah. <laughs> she dyed your hair a little more brown. Yeah. It was the That's first exciting. time I'd ever had any sort of dye. <gasps> Oh, I'm yeah, sorry, I misunderstood. Out. Your hair went shorter and your hair yeah, got dyed. Gotcha, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. That is cool, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put a little dye in there. That That's... was also David. That was David, yeah? Yeah. yeah. David Dang. Yes. David Dang. David Dang. David my Dang. friend that then my friends now go to for hair. Who's yeah. now our friend? Uh, you <laughs> think so. David is my friend. <laughs> I will get David on the phone right the fuck now. Yeah. Do you want me to call him? Where is David right now? I don't know. Oh, good I, you question. Know, because, friend. because Eugene, I trust my friends. Yeah. I let them fly free and then they return to me. Where is David right now? Uh, he's in Vegas with my boyfriend. Oh, well, oh, that's, that's why you because, know that. <laughs> well, because we're friends. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't we, know we where my out, friends are We hang out like every weekend. Where's Keith? I don't know. I let my friends run wild. <laughs> I have free range friends. It's good for them. Yeah. They eat grass. Are you friends or, or clients who are friendly? <gasps> wow. Whoa. There's a difference. I mean, everyone thinks their stylists are their yeah. friends. Do you want me to call David right now? 
I mean, you could. Hey, I get him. If he I answers, mean, I'm sure he'll say you're his friend. If he answers, then we'll have. But how him on the do you see him more in a friendly situation or more when you get your hair done? Eugene, that's a trick question because I don't see any friends. <laughs> yes, you do. I rarely do. Really? Outside of work, how often but, are you hanging yeah, out? Yeah, would your old friends say, oh, yeah, Zach's my friend? And when you see them, do they do your hair? Man, Zach, I saw you playing Catan this weekend. <laughs> I got so much FOMO. <laughs> it's interesting. Like, ah, I, re I remember Catan. <laughs> you know, yeah. sty stylists and makeup artists and manicurists and people in the beauty industry will tell you everyone thinks that they're like close friends with them. Yeah. But it's because they're also therapists. So when people go to do their hair. Mm. All they do when they're sitting there is talk about their life. So then they leave and they go, oh, this person's like my best friend. And the guy's like, yeah, we're friends, but also I only see you when I'm doing your hair. Mm. So it's interesting because they have a very different perspective. Uh, clearly you guys are friends. Like you'll invite him to things. I don't want to disturb but David right now type because of I'm friendship. such a good friend. I don't want to call <laughs> yeah. him. Stylists know yeah. what I'm talking about. It's a different type of friendship. When we were shooting the facial video, you guys were revealing way more than in the lie detector video. And Nick <laughs> and I were? kept looking at each other being like, we can't put this stuff in the video. <laughs> like what? Ned, you were revealing a lot of personal details you yeah. probably don't want in the video oh. to, the, to this facialist. I don't Let's remember. You guys were just very comfortable. You were like letting it flow free. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't think we can There's use something all about this. someone pampering or styling you where you feel like, oh, this is a moment I feel like I should express all my innermost secrets. Yeah. yeah. If you feel very relaxed, you know, that's when all the secrets come pouring out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just, I remember her, we just joked a lot about drugs. <laughs> she was very cool. <laughs> she was cool. She was an old, she used to be to on Vine. Camera what, I'll tell you what, what you said, but said. yeah, it's very funny. Well, I've now. seen the, the the first rough cut of that video that for you guys will be coming out in a week or two. And there are there are already a couple things I'm like, oh, I've never heard Ned admit that. How <laughs> funny. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh my God, I watched the cut. <laughs> yeah. Make sure I'm comfortable with everything. Yeah. Thanks. Jeez, guys, coronavirus has really been <laughs> rocking the world in the last couple of weeks. Uh, oh, yeah. How, what are you guys doing to prepare? Because it seems like there's like now more than like a 2% chance that we'll go into a quarantine type deal. That seems to be, is that right, Ned? You seem smarter than me. I would say there's more than a 2% chance. 2% yeah. is the likelihood that you'll die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because Jesus. when you get, get it. Now, yeah. a couple things you need to know yeah. that I've learned because obviously with the young child, I've been a little worried. Ned's uh, going to drop some facts and then we're going to make it funny. <laughs> 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 Fact one. Uh, it more disproportionately affects older people and people with already pre-existing like pulmonary conditions. Okay, or, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like not you, okay but if you have <laughs> if you have lung conditions if you're you know caring for elderly people that that's yeah people are more at risk or uh, if you're immunosuppressed or if you're oh, immunosuppressed yeah. truly mm. uh fortunately children not mm. babies but children because they have a different type of immuno response that's mm. not antibody based it's more like primary i think they call it mm. uh they are seem to be getting less worse sick. So that made me feel kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, but it's, you know, very, you, you can take some easy steps to prepare, uh, get extra food, you know, get a bunch of canned food, make plans for what would happen if you had to work from home or if you couldn't uh, send your kid to school. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of think through that so that you have a plan. It's very probable that internet and water will still be fine. But, you know, you might... You might want to avoid crowded places for a while. You might want to yeah. uh, stay inside your house. Okay, Fortunately, biggest thing to do, obviously, also, wash your fucking hands, people. Oh, yeah. No one washes their hands. And I'm not talking run it under the water for a second and then shake it on your pants. Yeah. 20 seconds. You got to wash it for Soap 20 seconds. and water, Ugh. not one or the other. <laughs> you long. need them both. And the amount of people that don't know how to wash their hands for 20 seconds and like, oh, this is so boring. Fuck you. <laughs> wash those hands. Yeah, because it spreads just like the flu or the cold which uh -huh. you know it's like sneezing handshakes all of this it can make it spread very fast and the cold and the flu sorry the flu has a 0.1 percent uh fatality rate so that's why it's kind of scary because that's like you know two percent is significantly yeah. more than 0.1 percent another yeah. another no no or rather the first no no <clears throat> uh don't go hoarding medical masks Oh um, yeah, they're, they're, I forget what the name of the mask is. NH5. Yeah, N95. Right, My girlfriend is a nurse. <laughs> Glad we cleared that up. They're NH5. <laughs> Miles was very quick. I was so confident. Jump on. <laughs> uh, but right now, medical staffs have have shortages of these masks because people are 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 hoarding them and thinking that like 
you don't need them. First of all, they only are good for about 30 or 45 minutes. So you're mm-hmm. going to be going through a ton of them. Please save them for the people that are on the front lines in the mm-hmm. medical field. Like they need them. You don't. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of my friends have been disappointed or like posting photos in their masks. It's like, no, no, no. Yeah. And they're most effective if you are already sick. They yeah, really right. Don't help you not get sick. Yeah. Uh, so this uh, last week, I was at physical therapy, and it was a crowded place. And I, I did that thing where you drink water down the wrong pipe. And so mm-hmm. I had a coughing fit <gasps> in the corner. And I saw all of these heads turn towards me, oh. and especially the, the older clientele in physical therapy, of which there are many, mm-hmm. and the hate in their eyes, mm. the fear in their eyes they were like this guy <laughs> is gonna kill us all yeah. and so i have felt like hysteria is reaching that critical point and i i don't know that it's hysteria because it's this thing is coming and it's spreading but you want you want to hear something worse please <laughs> last night same thing happened to me uh-huh in well, the oh. gym oh, of course and i look like everyone who has it yeah uh-huh. and this is full of people who are healthy in a gym And everyone looked at me immediately like, oh. And then what I did was I chugged my water to show that I was like coughing from the water just to like Uh, assuage their fears. Because I went, (coughs) (coughs) and they turned and looked at me and I went, oh, God, the water is like. (laughs) (laughs) You start dumping water on your face. I did a whole song and dance because I, I think there's certain times where, you know, don't be racist is probably the last thing Mm -hmm. but everyone i think currently is very afraid of east asian looking people Mm -hmm. especially if they either have a mask on or if they're coughing uh certainly it's not all people who are sick because now it's coming from italy too it's coming from everywhere that's why i didn't play mario kart last night i'm like i'm not letting this plumber into my house yeah it's important (laughs) (laughs) nice one (laughs) nice one (laughs) i uh i feel personally attacked (laughs) oh shit i'm sitting next to ned what am i gonna do yeah (laughs) You know that Honey is the free online shopping tool that automatically finds the best promo codes and applies them to your cart. Whoa. Yeah, and you know how great it feels to save? It feels so great. Yeah, and you know, when you save with Honey, oh, it feels, it feels like... so good to save. <laughs> Sorry, I just need a second because it feels so whoa. good, Eugene. I can't even. It's like, not even, that good. I can't even Reel pay attention. To, okay. <sighs> Saving with Honey, it, it feels like putting on a fresh pair of socks and a on a cold winter day. It feels like when you buy french fries, but they sneak in one onion ring by accident, and you're like, oh, Ooh, bonus yeah. ring. Uh, the other day, I bought some some protein powder for, oh, my, that- for my smoothies. Protein powder, I buy about once a month, and I got to save $5.74. And that's not the only thing. I'm buying stuff like crazy, and honey is saving me money. And Cha-ching. It's found over 18 million members, over $2 billion in savings. Did you know that Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, including Macy's, Target, Sephora, Best Buy, and more. And they're adding more every single day. Plus, it's free to use and installs in just a few seconds. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash tryguys. That's joinhoney.com slash tryguys. Oh, saving money feels so good. Uh, yeah, the whole thing is crazy. But I'm generally now, genuinely now thinking like, I, I have tickets to a concert next week. Do I yeah. not go? There are music festivals coming up around the corner. I mean, we Should were supposed to go to South, South by. by for a podcast and they canceled the podcast. There's also petitions from Austinites trying to cancel the entire festival. Wow. My sister, both my sisters had business uh, engagements in different cities that involve conferences. Both were canceled within the next month. So we- I think everyone's starting to cancel these large scale uh-huh. events. Well, hopefully... I mean, uh, to err on the side of safety, we'll probably see more, especially like festivals start getting canceled. But I haven't seen any major cancellations yet. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, the three of us, four of us are going to be traveling a lot coming up too. And I'm like, oh boy, this is not going to oh, be fun. Yeah, for those videos. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I we went to meet and Ariel uh, and West went to New York last weekend, and uh, I was a little worried because New York's a very populous place. We were uh, traveling. Uh, in the airports, and uh, sure enough, uh, we got sick on the way <gasps> back. Wes uh, puked all over Ariel. Mm. It was a stomach bug, not not a flu. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then and then I got it, <laughs> and all Saturday uh, I puked 
and oh. it was it was not fun. And That's I was like, worst. yeah, you can like you can get it's sick. So, it's so, it's so sweet. easily. Like father like son. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so yeah. cute. He, he, uh, yeah, you guys are goals. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. We, Family we did, that pukes together stays together. He was very cuddly on Saturday, <laughs> no. and I said like, does your tummy hurt? And he said, yeah. Oh. And, then we, and I was like, yeah, my tummy hurts too. And then we just sat on the couch and watched Paddington. <laughs> oh. Dream day. And he said, bear movie. That's very cute. Did you get to Paddington 2? No. No. Yeah, you know that Paddington 2 is even better. That's what I've heard, yeah. yeah. We didn't get there because yeah. we both napped for about three hours. Vomiting <laughs> isn't uh, associated with coronavirus. No. 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 Not at all. No. It's so I, had a, I got another type of bug. But, you know, that just, yeah. I mean, that was clearly because we were traveling mm -hmm. in a new city. Wes was on a playground, you know, in Madison Square Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do <laughs> That's it. That's like... <laughs> Would y'all be more nervous as a stranger who's old and maybe a little racist seeing me in the airport with a mask on or without a mask on? I'll tell Probably you, because I'm curious. Right? Not, not even associated with the coronavirus. Anytime I see people with masks on, I'm like, what, what's going on? What are you doing? Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. What, yeah. Are you sick or am I sick or should we all be sick? What, what's happening? Yeah. It's, it freaks me out. You know what's crazy, though, is my mother, who uh, you'll see in a couple of videos coming up. She's amazing. She's been doing her stateside tour because she lives overseas. She mm -hmm. lives in both Korea and France. So she's been in Korea like half the year. Mm -hmm. She's going back to Korea, like back mm -hmm. to Seoul in a week. Ooh, and, oh, wow. My sisters and I are like, Mom, are you worried about the coronavirus? Or you're literally going back to what's considered a hotspot. And she, she just immediately said, no, it's fine. <laughs> she has no concern, oh boy. zero concern. She's like, yeah, this happens all the time. She's like, these virus outbreaks, people get off the streets, you just stay inside, you wear your masks, whatever. She's well, like a little less, it was weird. She just like maybe has seen it before because of SARS or MERS or whatever. Yeah. She just bird flu, swine flu. I don't know. She seems a little more jaded about it. She does not have this sensationalist like, oh, I'm going to die. Because uh, certainly if I yeah. was traveling to Korea, I would be checking every precaution right now. But she has zero inhibitions or apprehension about going. I mean, yeah. you are, if you catch it, you are not automatically going to die. It is right. not anything like that. No, but that. she's also like in the target age group of people who get sick. Well, so. and what, that's what's making it, well, we don't need to dwell on the science. <laughs> talk, but that's what's making it more, more dangerous right now is that it can, the symptoms can be very mild. And so it can spread a lot more easily because something like SARS and and was it MERS? Yeah. Um, those were like, you know when you have it. And yeah. so it was a yeah. lot easier to contain that. Okay, I'm mm. gonna share a great Twitter thread I found today where, you know, there's the the old uh, sing happy birthday twice to wash your hands for 20 seconds, but oh. everyone's sick and tired of singing happy birthday. What a pain in the ass. So Twice? Yeah, That's happy long. birthday to you. Happy, yeah, I mean, you gotta do, Miles, do Jeez. you wanna be safe? I'll say this, I don't wash my hands very often. Miles? I gotta do it. Miles, I gotta commit. Go wash your hands right now. Right now. Right now. I'll say this. No. All right. I'll wash my hands. Go wash your hands. I'm okay. gonna. I'm going to read these things. <laughs> well, I, while you read it, I'll wash my hands. Uh, this is at Jen Mani. Miles is being Ma responsible. Manier Manier on Twitter uh, suggests "Love on Top" by Beyonce. Perhaps "Landslide" by Fleetwood the Mac. The full chorus, right? Yeah. Uh, Raspberry Beret by Prince. Miles, sing "Jolene" by Dolly Parton. Ooh, "Africa" by Toto. These are all songs that you can repeat the chorus twice. Wash your hands, you'll be safe, and you'll be jamming to a tasty groove. Mm, yum. Which also makes me feel like the average chorus must be around 20 seconds. Yeah. Because that's a lot of Thank major Miles, songs. that was not 20 seconds. I sang it like you sing it at a birthday party you want to leave. <laughs> ah, <laughs> so all the children's parties. And I can yeah. see that you dried your hand off on your shirt. <laughs> I, I, I mean, might be sweat. <laughs> one, one nice thing is that our our business is on the internet. So as long as the internet doesn't go down, you know, we can we can do vlogs from our houses. We can do like a, like a quarantine food taste test. I think people are going to need entertainment now more than ever. That's right. That's right. What are you what what are you gonna do when you're at home all day? You know, watch YouTube videos. That's true. Well, we might not get as many advertisers advertising. Uh, right, Purell would be an antibacterial sponsor. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe we'll get more like Clorox sponsorships. Yeah. Have you guys ever considered <laughs> having a bunker? Considered, um, no, <laughs> but I did like purchase all of my supplies yesterday. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Got a lot that of water cans, cans food. Got yeah, some water just in case. Do those exist? The uh, the mm. nuclear bunkers that rich people buy like spaces in, so when uh, something happens, they can get shipped off off to like those special like human you arcs. Think Eugene, 
I think they exist. Oh, I human think. arcs. You mean like for space like stuff? Like in the or movie for, 2012? <gasps> like either space or for just human survival. But then in those movies, they always do like a genetic lottery where they say, oh, we're choosing yeah. the, s- the supreme young specimens of the human race to survive. There's a way to buy in if you're rich. Like that you was buy the in whole, if you're rich. Yeah. The whole premise yeah. Yeah. and conflict of the 2012 yeah, movie. exactly. Yeah. I, I bet there's Russian a government oligarchs. program. I bet, yeah. Doing, uh, multiple government programs doing that. You'll, yeah. you'll dig this, Eugene. Every uh, sci-fi movie, there's always like the common enemy comes, the aliens come down, and humanity bands together. And what I'm seeing, I think, with the spread of a virus, which is a common enemy, I think the opposite would happen. Yeah. I think if aliens land in Luxembourg, the first thing the U.S. does is shut down their borders. They're like, fuck it. The aliens are their problem. It's staying over there. Anyone who comes in might be an alien in disguise. Yeah. And anyone who looks like they're from Luxembourg, we're getting out of here. Yeah. I think that's what would happen. It's a sad, sad state. Right. But then maybe, we, you know, the Tri Guys get called in to oh, that's right. communicate with the aliens. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Because for some reason, they love YouTube. Oh, and then we're, <laughs> right, then that, we're Amy Adams. Exactly. Then we're all Amy And we're Adams. the only people that can communicate... <laughs> But because <laughs> because you know it's why? they only it's respond really they only exactly. respond to stripping exactly. instead of yeah. communicating exactly. with weird coffee stands we're just dabbing yeah yeah <laughs> oh, that God, is no. a funny <laughs> arrival sequel <laughs> the aliens just love dabbing they need YouTubers yeah that's true and Jake Paul passed away when the aliens landed on his house so they need you <laughs> yeah to oh my God that would be great if J- if Jake Paul like it turns out. He is actually the only one who can communicate with aliens. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no. It turns out you guys his heard tattoos about his. Are actually a secret code that only the alien language can unlock. Yeah. Have you guys heard about his financial freedom movement thing? Please do share. Okay. Uh, this is in a personal financial freedom movement from a uh, <laughs> wealthy yeah. YouTuber. Yeah. This Please is, uh, tell me more. I did, I'm doing a little personal project on this subject, but to give the gist of what it is, is Jake Paul's like, "Hey, I'm really rich." Uh, and I'm going to make a service that's $20 a month and you can join the service and it's like infotainment about how rich he is. Like him being it's, like... I, as I understand it, it's here's a, like, you know the master class of like, you know, Ron Howard t- teaching you how to yes. filmmaking. This yes. is Jake Paul's version of how to be successfully viral yeah. and then become financially independent as so part of the messaging. Get rich quick. Yeah, yeah. Get rich quick, but also like... We don't need school and student loans. <laughs> yeah, it's <indeed>. our generation. <laughs> and we're going to take control by getting famous on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought you and I talked about this. I yeah. do think it would make a fantastic video to take that course. I just don't yeah. have that much time and self-loathing. Guess who does? <laughs> Me. And I already shot it. So. Nice. <laughs> but oh. it, the, but that, uh, it's amazing. It's truly hilarious. There's a Lambo in the commercial. It's like, it's all about like, you want to retire when you're 65? Like, your parents are unhappy. And it's Jake, like, you know, holding it down with other billionaires, apparently, that are in the videos. Hmm. Hilarious. Mm. Incredible. Michael Bloomberg is <laughs> like, I love to dab on the haters. I, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful thing. Is that a good Bloomberg? I don't know. We're still learning. We're still learning. Yeah, I would workshop it. I haven't really more. cared to cultivate an impression. I didn't think I, mean, I would need it. I mean, he has maybe 12 million ads running everywhere, so I yeah. can't get away from him, and yet I don't remember him. <laughs> like, that's how ineffective he is. But I do remember his voice is very particular. There's one where he goes... We need Mike. Or he's like, you like <laughs> Mike? Mean, you like Mike? It's just like, I remember him being Kermity or Muppety. I'm all I know a, is I severely, I dislike I him. I me. dislike Jake Paul. These are all people I dislike. Yeah, well, even though this is coming out on Super Thursday rather than Super Tuesday, there's mm-hmm. still, still a lot of voting over the next couple of weeks. So, hey, if you're listening right now, Make sure that you go vote. Vote early. Vote in the mail. Mm -hmm. Go, you know, look up when your voting is and uh, make sure you go vote. And uh, be educated on the issues. Uh, we're, we're making him Kennedy-esque. What are we doing? I know. I, I, <laughs> you're you sounding really Kennedy-esque too. And I, I know, I but I know to... he sounds like nasally, if yeah. I remember. Yeah. Have you guys voted yet today? Yeah, yes. I'm wearing the sticker. You're wearing the sticker? Boom. Zach, have you voted yet? Uh, I have not. I, I filled out my absentee ballot, or my I filled out my early voting ballot a couple weeks ago, and I decided to hold on to it, see mm-hmm. if I had to change a heart, and so I'm going to go drop it off this afternoon. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't think... want to be late for the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you you got to have true. your priorities. First, you pod, then you vote. <laughs> of course. And then you wash your hands for 20 seconds yeah. to, to Truth Hurts by Lizzo.
What is a fun way to pass the time while engaging your brain and enjoying breathtaking visuals and a gripping story? Probably taking a hike while doing a puzzle. No, you fool. <laughs> it's playing Best Fiends. Oh. Best Fiends is everyone's favorite game. <laughs> In Best Fiends, you can focus on the character collection and the fun puzzles in the game. I just started Best Fiends, but I have found it. It's fun because it's casual, but it's also stimulating and challenging. And there's all these fun little monsters that you can collect. Who doesn't love little monsters? Yeah. All the monsters got these funny little names. There's one named Buggles, and he's my best friend. Best Fiends is there for you when you just need a couple minutes to pass the time. Best Fiends is a unique and exciting puzzle experience unlike any other puzzle games out there. You can train and collect all the different characters, and then you can use them strategically for each level. Engage your brain with fun puzzles and collect tons of cute characters. Trust me, with over 100 million downloads, this 100 million downloads. <laughs> that, wow. Jeez, Whoa. Louise, this they is are the best. Really, fiends. really popular. This five-star rated mobile puzzle game is a must-play. You can download it free on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. It's best fiends. <laughs> When you're washing your hands and deciding who to vote for, why, the world may seem scary, it may seem overwhelming, and you might say I could use some advice. Mm -hmm. Perhaps some advice that will go for miles? Mm -hmm. Perhaps some advice that will go for miles with your host, Miles Bonsignore. Ah, still not good. <laughs> Miles Nation, bitch, we the best team in the business. Get a Sony, yo, that's my advice on your Christmas wish list. Yo, Zach, how you doing over there? Pretty With good. Your fresh kicks, baby, and your new fresh hair. Hey, hey, you <laughs> the dark the prince of the podcast. Yes. Ned is the guy who's a smart guy with a business ass, 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 ass. <laughs> If I said I'll go for Miles. What's up, Miles Nation? Yeah. yeah. He's nice. back. Very good. Very good, Miles. How y'all doing on this Super Tuesday? Super Thursday. Pretty Thursday. good. Super Thursday. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to get lactic acid? Uh-oh. Have you ever wanted to be prim, proper, and stretchy like leather. Mm, so far, over oh two. Angelina Jolene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into Michelle it. Quam. <laughs> <laughs> and the swimmer guy with the bong. Michael Phelps. Oh, Michael Phelps. Phillips. Phillips. <laughs> These are all. Mmm, stretchy people. <laughs> and one thing they probably have in common is that they all do yoga. Yeah! Uh, yoga is a hidden art that allows your body to cramp the next day <laughs> after you stretch it in a downward facing a douche. <laughs> Getting on that yoga train, Miles? I did yoga on Sunday night, and I'm sore today. <laughs> it is Tuesday. This segment is so dumb. <laughs> Your advice is to, like, maybe check out yoga. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What, what number podcast is this? Is like, oh my what, God. what is it? What are we in? The 60s? Yoga has <laughs> been like, running out of advice, <laughs> man. Yoga. <laughs> yoga. You tried yoga before? Yoga has been sweeping the nation. <laughs> For like 30, 40 years. <laughs> yoga. God, has... I discovered this hot new trend. <laughs> yoga. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Yoga has been sweeping the nation in the internet. D yoga <laughs> broke the internet the other day. You know who does yoga? Jack. Timothy Chalamet, probably. Chalamet. <laughs> Make sure you go to a yoga studio. I go to one near my house, and it's very good. What's the address? Uh, it is 444. No, it, yoga is a good way to relax. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is exercise. It is extreme stretching. Uh, and I like it very much. Ned, do you do yoga? I don't have the patience for yoga, Ned but my wife yoga. is mm. a yoga instructor, or at least what? a trained yoga instructor. No way! She what? She doesn't do it anymore. What? And Since one when? Of the, 
since we lived in Chicago. So Your wife is a, since oh. the entire time you've known me. A <gasps> certified yoga instructor and a certified whitewater rafting instructor. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And she has she's just a, a box she's of enigma. She's lived a world. Wow. She's lived a world. <laughs> she's lived a world. <laughs> she's lived a world. <laughs> Wait, we're all So uh, one one thing that she learned that I thought was very interesting was uh-huh. the reason that yoga makes you hold all of these uncomfortable positions is physical. Yes, but it's also train your mind and to mm. achieve like a mental clarity mm. mental like zen type of uh you know it's by pushing yourself to these physical limits yeah is how you uh get like a mental peace and uh-huh. i couldn't i couldn't handle it i was like oh i'm so bored this is so uncomfortable i'd much rather be running 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 or like kicking or jumping yeah sometimes you can get so calm that you just freak out <laughs> well, no, it's because I, I wasn't able to push myself uh, through the pain. See, I yeah, that's good. And here's something I noticed from my yoga. Yeah, is that I did it on Sunday, <laughs> and then I, I also did it on Sunday. And then I, I was like, man, that was tough. It was a hard class. And on Monday, I woke up faster than I've ever woken up. Wow. Six fifty a.m. Bolted out of bed. Boom. Boom. Easy wake up. And I was like, maybe that's from the yoga. Hard to tell. Mm. To, to your point of, of concentration, Ned, you're supposed to do what's called ujjayi breath. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's like you're, you're constricting the back of your throat and only breathing through your nose. Like and like, imagining. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, not the fire breath. No, no, no. Just through your nose. It's, it's <clears throat> you're supposed to be very loud when you uh, breathe in yoga. You're all failing it. Your mouth is Let me get another example. To, Let me get another example. Oh. Uh, so it's like constricted. You're kind of, it's supposed to sound like Darth <clears throat> Vader, and it's to remind you of like the waves crashing. Mm. But you are supposed to keep your focus on your breath the entire time. So you're not focusing on what am I going to do for lunch or oh this is such a difficult pose. You're just trying to train your mind to stick on that breath, which is mm. I've been doing it for almost four years now, and it's still so hard for me. It to must do. be it must be nice. I mean, one of the things I really like about soccer is I get into this flow state where all I'm doing is thinking about the game, I'm not thinking about. Not, not about lunch, not about after, it's about the game. Yeah. Points. Well, no, I mean, it's about more than the points. But the flow, the, positions, the team. The team. The snacks. The brotherhood. The brotherhood. brotherhood. Your brothers. The, it's about how many points there are, because sometimes you aren't trying to score points, you're just trying to not let them score points. Eugene, do you yoga? I don't yoga. Both my sisters, my oldest sister really likes yoga, but it's not, it's a little too um, relaxing. It is relaxing. I, yeah. I'm not a big relaxing workout yeah, type guy. You're like I me. like high impact. We like run, run, a lot run, of energy. Run, bah, 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 bah. But you know, it's interesting. I think that's a question to ask people is like, what are you certified in? Because mm. there's a lot of uh, like Ariel, you just have time in your life where you need a job and what are you certified, certified in, in Eugene? Certified bartender. <gasps> wow. Certified dance instructor. Hmm. Oh, cool! I took six months of dance school for instruction, Very so I could cool. teach at the gyms here in LA. Oh, that's dope! And I did that for a year. My oldest sister is a certified Pilates and a bar instructor, hmm. which she also passed the bar in multiple states. So she's a lawyer raising the bar. Oh, oh hey. that's a sitcom my right li- there. My, I know. I was like, it's a lifetime show. My little sister is a cyclist instructor, certified. Oh. Wow! And uh, but they all have full time jobs, and both of them are certified in like some wine connoisseur thing. Whoa! Yeah. <gasps> Apparently I, that's a whole rating system. Yeah, like they know the everything game. about it because they're part of some like commendably de Bordeaux or some shit. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, what did you just say? It's some club. It's a oh, club, okay. club for old mm. rich white guys. That's cool. Who like wine. Yeah. I'm a certified forklift operator. No hey, hey, didn't know hey. that. Did not know. I <clears throat> am certified fresh. Boosh. Right. Thanks for listening to the Tripod. <laughs> we are the Try Guys. Make sure you subscribe and rate us five stars on wherever you're listening to. Check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Try Guys. We got bonus clips of our YouTube videos. You can drive a forklift, Ned? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, I should... feel like you're not excited enough about me being fresh. I'm, I'm uh, certified. Yeah. Well, we fresh. knew you were fresh. We know. Okay. We always knew it. Well, I didn't know you could drive a forklift. Fresh to death. I mean, yeah. I could drive a forklift too. Just well, let me. Give me a shot. Try to drive a forklift. Put me, I'm, put me I'm in OSHA coach. certified. OSHA. You can oh. drive it on your own time, but I can drive it at the office. I got oh. cert. Oh, wait. We all did that. We all no. got certified for a different thing. Different thing. For, for, uh, for la- we're like we were ladder, doing ladder lift. Ladder thingy. safety. If you don't want to yeah. pay for Jake Paul's bullshit service, you yeah. can uh, get Miles for advice. Then go for Miles. He will pay you yeah. to yeah. listen yeah. to him. I'll pay you to listen <laughs> to, to, you to me. That you should try yoga. <laughs> <laughs> get the merch. Give us a review. Yeah. Send us your love. Until next time. 
time, you No, jerk. no, no, I'm not doing it. Miles. No, Miles already has his fucking sang. song. Oh, Ned. Ned, hit us with the official tripod theme song. Well, we did a tripod and you get her wash your hands. Wash those hands. Wash those hands. Until next time. Wash those hands. Stay beautiful. And wash those hands. <laughs> <laughs>